dad was a very patient man. He would bring my elder sister and I to Coney Island for trekking or to Marina Barrage for kite flying. We had a lot of fun and beautiful memories together. Three years ago, my dad was diagnosed with liver cancer. So the medication and the treatment caused him a lot of pain and he had mood swings. It was tough to see him in pain and uh, not being able to do anything to help him. He was a very considerate person. Um, for example, when he's on the MRT, he'll try to stand near the door. So when someone actually offered him a seat, he'll actually politely say no. And I quietly asked him why. And he'll say, um, he'll tell me in Mandarin, um, it's fine. Uh, I think they are also very tired after work, so I don't uh, let them sit. He was diagnosed four years ago with throat cancer. It was very emotionally draining for me. Uh, I just wanted him to be as comfortable as possible. He was admitted into the Assisi Hospice inpatient ward. So the staff there, uh, helpful, cheerful and empathetic. So his pain was managed, was well managed. And there was a corner room with a window view so he could see outside. And whenever I wanted to stay overnight, the staff would provide me with blankets, pillow. And after a week at Assisi Hospice, he, he passed on. Uh, he was in initially uh, in the home, under the home care and eventually admitted to the inpatient. RCC, uh, the team in RCC actually did a, did a very good job in managing the pain because we, can, we could see that he was compla complaining lesser of the symptom. So um, to the extent that we thought that he was actually recovering until we sent him for scans and realised that his cancer was actually spreading and he wasn't recovering. Uh, but it was because of RCC team that actually helped him to manage the pain very well. Uh, we received a lot of uh, emotional and practical support from the home care team. They are always available 24-7 for us to call or text when we need them. This means a lot to us, especially for the loved ones, when we see our loved ones in pain. I remember there was a Sunday when my dad um, ran out of medication. So he was really in pain and I was in a loss. I didn't want, know what to do. I called the home care uh, mobile and the nurse was very kind. She told me to pick up from RCC. Uh, yeah. I, I couldn't imagine how my, dad did, my dad's day would be without that medication on that day because it was a Sunday. My late dad has received care from RCC. I want others to receive the same care. Join, Join us, us to, to give, give monthly. monthly.